Sure. Oh. I'll be glad to see you, friend. Um, dear Lord, we thank you for letting us meet this afternoon, and we ask you for your blessing on this meeting and helping make decisions for the seniors. We ask you in particular to be with Jan um, and the and Richard sons and the rest of the family, Lord, at this time, and give them comfort and um, Lord, help us to know what to do to help also if there's anything that we can do. And um, Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity to serve the people in our town. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Secretary's report? Yes. <coughs> this is the report from January 16th, 2024. Present at that time were Director Claudia Provencal, Chairperson for Pervier by phone, Vice Chair Nancy Afonso by phone. Is that right? Secretary Yeah. Treasurer Ken Horvath, board members Sue Bragi, and guest Susan Horvath. I was president as well. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. At least you didn't say I wasn't present. No, I didn't. I didn't say you at all. <laughs> Claudia, can you hear? I can hear. Okay. okay. Not present members John Nason and Bill Lipka. Prayer was given by Sue. Secretary's report was presented by Mel Shaughnessy for the meeting on 12 19 23. Motion to accept Sue, second Ken, and the motion passed unanimously. The Treasurer's report was presented by Ken Horvath with the figures uh, according to his report submitted on that date. Motion to accept the Treasurer's report, Mel, second Sue, the motion passed unanimously. Outreach. Mel reported appropriate sympathy and get well cards have been sent. Assistance with mock meals and medical equipment continue ongoing. Business deck update. Claudia reported we are waiting for $20,000 from the friends. Once received, we can involve the select board and the town administrator. The estimate for the deck is $148,355. Claudia requested all volunteers and seniors sign in with their key cards. This can affect our formula grant money. Um, to that end, I put up a little sign. I don't know if you saw it on the door. Please sign in on both sides, coming in and going out, and also right near the sign-in machine. So, and I remind people. Claudia requested all volunteers. Oh, okay. Claudia gave a summary of upcoming events, Hubbardson Fire Department emergency key storage, escape routes um, on 123-24, uh, mock, just wondering if you were coming, presenting a seminar right. on cooking for one or two, okay. well, and soup days sorry, were discussed. Still, the next one scheduled for 123-24, that must be 120, because it was today. <laughs> Valentine's, so oh yeah, okay, so 123-24. I, know where my height. I do the same. I haven't thing. been feeling well for a couple days, so I've been in bed a lot. I do the same thing. Oh. Valentine's Day luncheon, 2 11 24. A gift card raffle will be drawn at the luncheon. Stars and Stripes will be catering with the following menu salad, soup, lasagna, strawberry shortcake. Sue will contact Katie Young for the Girl Scout volunteers. Claudia will be gone until April. Motion to adjourn Mel, second Sue, and the meeting adjourned at 5 09 p.m. Next meeting, Tuesday to 2024 at 4 p.m. Motion to accept? I'm yes. Motion. motion. A second. I'll second. <laughs> Treasurer's report? <coughs> Treasurer's uh, report. Uh, this is as of today. Oh, nice. We have in supplies $636.55. We have in services four hundred and eighty-six dollars and sixty-two cents. Could you say that again for me? Sure. You you could take it off your. I know, but Flo's borrowed mine. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we have extra. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you. oh, all right. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Six thirty-six fifty-five. Six. Yeah, mm -hmm. I got that one. Good. Services. Mm -hmm. Four eighty-six sixty-two. The gift account, 
Uh, the formula grant, $9,047.50. The GFA grant, $267.90. The senior building account, $2,651.84. And the Barry Savings Charitable Foundation grant, $3,000. Any questions? Motion. motion to accept. Motion to accept. Yeah. Make motion to accept. Okay. Just a little side note for for those who want to be in the know, we were able to put into from the um, uh, Valentine's Day dinner, which is also includes really this is most of the money for the raffle. Uh, we put in one thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars. Oh, nice. One thousand three hundred fifteen. Fifteen. Thank you. Just for information. That, is that yeah. in here? Yeah, it, yeah, it's in two pieces. It's in seven hundred and fifteen, which I deposited today, and six hundred, which we put in even before the dinner. Okay. I saw the six hundred. Yeah. Hey, John. No. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, oh, Bill so is, you, Bill you is not feeling made the motion no. and I sat into the day. Okay. Oh, Ken? Yes. Did, did you get my email? I did. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's what I got from Kelly. I gave you the dates on that. It was January 1st to the January 31st. So this other money is from now until we have, must have taken out, right? Right. Because we have the formula grant. Do we, did you say 900, 900? No. With the formula grant that all information right. I have is $9,047.50. $9, okay, so that matches. We didn't get the other half of it yet, right? Correct. No, I, I do not. Okay. I have not seen it. But again, as, right. as we said, we did get the $20,000 check. Yeah. So. But we still have to have that other part of the formula. Yeah. You know, that's going to go in there, so we got to watch for that. And the other thing, I had the supplies of nine uh, supplies and services. One was um, nine hundred. Right, but we we obviously had some expenses since then. Oh, you've had some expenses. Since oh yes, then. Yeah. we've had expenses in January. Okay. All right, I don't have that, but I just had those. Right. You, I, as I said, I, I just updated this today. Actually, I was here. Okay, good, good. Okay, just check it. I know. Didn't know, you, didn't know if you got my thing. You should just say, oh, okay, I, I, I should have. I, I apologize. I should have said, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. What? I'm just curious. What do we have expenses? In, in well, no, I, Claudia was talking about we were reconciling as of December 31st. And then we had okay, 900. January, but January we had, 31st. if you look in the yeah. supplies, you'll see what we paid in January. So we did January have expenses 31st. in January. These figures I gave you were from January 1st to January 31st, right? Right, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the mileage and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, business section, volunteer schedules and responsibilities, outreach. We've already gone over the other three. Or is the volunteer schedule and responsibilities, is that a separate thing or? Yeah, what is that? Consistent? Well, that's probably the stuff that um, the volunteers that come in and everything and how it's all going with everybody. I would assume that's uh, how it's going since she's gone. And Claudia's gone. How the responsibilities <laughs> are going with all the volunteers. And I think, I mean, the volunteer it's luncheon was good. great. The people mm -hmm. who, who helped out with that. Um, the card games, I think, and all that stuff, all those are going well. Um, I know singers are going well, all of the other things, knitting and all that seem to be good today. Mm -hmm. I can't see any problems with the um, with the schedule right now. Good. On the outreach? Okay, on the outreach again, um, you know, sympathy cards are going out. Um, Mr. Posey's services are this 
Saturday at the Berry Congregational Church. Uh, Farmer Rich's arrangements haven't been finalized yet. Yeah. Um, but as soon as they are, I will let everyone know. Um, can, you, can, an email? can you loop us in on that too? Because I know a couple of members of the select board had stopped by on wanting to write because we didn't know if it was public, public yet. So we didn't want to say anything on their meeting this evening. But if mm -hmm. you guys are going to do something, let us know and we can either join in or do I a will. similar thing. Or... As soon as Jan is going to let me know, um, you know she, she's been meeting with his sons and making arrangements so while we're on that and actually I thought of more things of the volunteers if that helps thank you yeah while we're on the um can I keep this stuff, yeah. no, I'll the make stuff for him problem. Claudia and I talked about um what the board would do probably something from the senior support from the senior center for or from the council on aging right Claudia from the council on aging for yeah yeah and we don't know when the ceremony is going to be but we were going to start with Flo <laughs> she was thinking of a uh, like a funeral wreath, is that what sure. you call it? Not a problem. I was thinking, I don't know, Flo, if you make those sympathy wreaths with the dry flowers, I don't know, do you do that? I can. I was thinking maybe um, that might be something because, you know, he grew things and all that, and he might want to be able to put it on the wall so she could have it, you know? I okay. didn't know if that was a good idea, or if you have something better in your mind, Flo, because you knew them very well, I can that make we'd a, like to do something really nice from the COA, you know? I can do a nice uh, heart-shaped uh, with carnations and things uh, for the funeral floor. Yep, yeah, we I could, uh, you know, whatever the board thinks on that, that would be fine, whatever you think. I think they're having a um, celebration, of, celebration life. of life. I don't... Are they? Yeah, I think I was that's what I've heard today, so far. But I was working. Yeah, I don't think they, whenever they plan it, I'm sure you'll be, you'll find out and then maybe you'll have a better idea of maybe something. But if you're not up to doing it or anything too, that's what we'd like to know from you. Yeah. If you would like to do it, that's great. If you don't really, if you don't think you can have the time or it's too much for you, then we will search elsewhere, you know, so you can let us know. I yeah, will. I'll let you know. Another uh, um, sort of outreach or volunteer thing is we're going to be helping someone with their lifeline installation tomorrow. Well, that's another the whole thing I was going to get into with the volunteers. I just thought that we should probably talk a little bit about. Um, let's let's if that's if you think it's a good time to talk about helping with different things at the center. Um, we've got Wait, a call. Did, did we just did we did we decide anything on the flowers yet? Well, yeah. Flo's going to let us know if she's going to do something and, and probably wait okay. to see what they're going to do. So what the family has planned. I think so Claudia, you, know, you know that the, the COA, from last I remember, cannot pay for the flowers. You can't. We would have to no, chip no, she, we, in we, as we would chip in with people. Yeah. to chip in and pay. Not a problem. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay with us. Okay. It's okay with me. And we know Florida will cough up a lot. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll do it for nothing as long as it's no, 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 that's, that's not what we're asking. Yeah, and, and that's I, not a problem. And, I might do stuff anyway. You don't know whether, right, and you don't know whether it's going to be for at the Celebration of Life or if it's going to be for the home. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. so that's something right. that I was almost thinking, um, in my mind, of something for the yard, like a tree or something. That's very nice, too. That's very nice. I think yes. that might be a yes. nice idea. The dogwood tree is beautiful. What do you think? I think it's beautiful, although my school gave me this beautiful tree when my brother died, when I was working, and it died. And I, I felt awful, I'm not a, you know, I mean, Jan might be very good at that kind of stuff, I don't know, I maybe it was kind of tree. Their property probably has a good amount of fertilizer. Well, <laughs> with all the gardens. I know the garden is already fertilized, yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. sure she'll grass and it's gonna grow like crazy. Enough? To utilize something like a tree. Are we sure she's going to stay there? That yeah. was her family home. Oh, okay. that, yeah, that was her mom's home. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so a tree. Parents My I'm neighbor sure this is a very to. uncertain time. I don't her. think she'll leave. Yeah, here. it is probably. I think I have a good enough relationship with her. I could ask. Oh sure. Yeah, I could ask. Sure. I mean, one of you. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's on the burner. It is the effort. Um, 
other okay. programs that you well, yeah, I was going to talk about programs. So, um, I've been thinking about lots of different things. Um, for one thing, I want to make sure everyone knows we are collecting things that people call for for Claudia and her friends to do some yard sales, and um, they are. I guess some things can go in the shed if they bring them and they're small, but most everything else is going to go in the container. Is that true, Claudia? Yeah, everything should go in the container. Everything should go in the Well, we put that sewing machine in the shed. That big, heavy... Yeah, what sewing machine? That um, Bruce brought over a big... Um, I wasn't here, but I contacted you and you said put it in the shed. It, it was a big, okay. you know, cabinet sewing machine. Oh, okay. That one in the shed. Um, but other things should go in the container, and um, Pat's going to help me when this um, a woman called by the name of Margie, who's going to you know, give us a lot of things, and um, she's supposed to contact me, and I'll take care of it with Pat. But in the meantime, if people get calls, you know, don't just have, it's better not to have them just drop it off. It's better to have them call. Are we having it on Gacha? Are we having a guide sale call out here? What? Well, when I was thinking, now last year, Bev and I, we would go up there on a weekend. We weren't busy randomly weekends. I mean, if it was raining and stuff, we would go. We'd set up some tables, and we would sell. And we made a lot of money. So they we just sold, them. yeah. They just sold from, from what Randomly, they we would say, and we could always put a blurb in the, in the um, online and just say we're going to be out there this weekend if anybody wants to come. We'll think of something nice to say about the items that we'll have and i just thought if anybody else had a free weekend and wanted to sit around for a few hours that's fine we only went like from eight to like two and then we'd close up and then go again on sunday eight to two for rietta so we did well i just thought it's it's worth a shot i don't mind doing it mm -hmm. okay so that's that's yard sale and then um as far as services are concerned helping people we've had a lot of calls recently and people coming in, even some of the people who help out here, having problems with their phones, whether it be an iPhone or an Android phone, or whether it be their connectivity to their cars, their phone stopped working in their car. Um, one lady, her phone her phone stopped letting her make calls out. And she was very nervous that she couldn't call or she got a problem in her car. And I was able to fix that. And you know, I'm trying to find somebody, I did, did contact a gentleman who offered a while back to help people but now I find um, his specialty is Android and not the iPhone and I'm trying to set up something like Glenn does like on a Friday you know what I mean or on a day a time that works for that volunteer to come in every week or once a month or whatever but it seems like I can't find anybody yet. so I'm getting the word out there do we have somebody who's good at that? Oh, that would be great. Like my son, but he's not around here. Um, that could, you know, he, he doesn't want to do iPhones, this this gentleman. He's not, he's only good with the Android and the and Macs. And so I'm not looking to replace or to help people completely, you know, have their computer fixed or anything like that. Although, and I, this brings up another thing with the computers. So we are missing things. And partly we have those four, we have, we own four um, Google Chromes, Chromes, thank you. And we've always had a sign up sheet, sign out sheet. They're supposed to sign out. I numbered every one of those computers. Every case has a matching number. Every, every one of them had a cord in them to you know, plug the machine in with. They all had a mouse in them. And now what we have is four computers, two of which are out on loan. I had to call and find out where one of them was. And I put the person on the sign out list. The other one I signed out to somebody. Um, we only have three cords. One cord is missing. So we have to keep those two computers yeah. here because we only have one cord for the two of them now. Um, we're missing a case for one of them and so the wrong case went out with one of them and uh, it's like it's getting a little crazy and I'm so it's they're out there they're in one spot and I also have the the sign out sheet there where all of the volunteers can see it by the volunteer desk 
And we just have to be more careful with all of that, if anyone lets one out. I mean, and they're there for that purpose, we're to come in and use them here. But if we, if we know the person and they're regular here and they want to borrow it for a little while, they can. Is, do we have an official time limit on how long you can borrow it? No. I mean, that's what happens. It goes out and everybody forgets about it. it. Right. And then it's six no. months later and it comes back without a case in a court. Ken, that, that wasn't the deal, though. We know the person who took that one and they just brought it back without the, and someone didn't check it over when it came back. Or actually, I remember being told that that didn't have a cord with it. And I remember speaking to the person and they moved out of town and never gave it to us. So that's where that cord went to. I mean, I can order, I'm not going to go into all of that and order it, but it brings me to the fact that um, people like to borrow them sometimes just to see if maybe that's what they'd like to get. I know the person who borrowed it from me now is, is someone we know well, and um, he just wants to see if maybe he might want to get that computer, get that kind of computer. Um, and then it also brought me to the fact that um, Bonnie, who does work for us on the computer, on the um, newsletter and always has, she's yeah. moved now. Yeah. She doesn't have a computer. And I thought, I know I gave Glenn um, one of my old laptops and he used it for a couple of years with shine and then he eventually just got his own computer to use for shine i believe and he he told me he was all set didn't need it anymore i took it home i just had it i just wiped it clean when i gave it to him and if i had an old laptop laying around that would work yeah. on the internet and would work it's not it wasn't great but it would work yeah. and <coughs> i'm thinking maybe um claudia this is something you might want to tell me if yay or nay, but maybe if we put out something on the email or the newsletter and say, hey, if you have um, a working um, laptop, I don't want to get into desktops, but a working laptop that you would like to donate okay. to the seniors and we would, um, they should have it wiped themselves. Do you know what I mean? If you could wipe it clean and bring it in or it's not hard to wipe them clean. But I thought that that might be a good thing. I think Bonnie could use it use one like that? Other seniors maybe? Right? You well, know. I think, um, yes, I think that's a great idea, but you have to have somebody who knows what they're doing and be, be in charge of that. You have to have a go-to person. In other words, if somebody calls and they want to have a computer they want to donate, yep. then they have to say, um, well, you need to call me or take their name and number and have, if you were going to be in charge of that or somebody who <coughs> knows about computers, they would have to call that person. That one person would have to be in exactly. charge. Exactly. Well, I thought I was in charge of these other computers out there, but yeah. it's that's very hard. It is very hard. It's very hard because you no, know, somebody else just took it in and didn't call me, or you know, or it didn't even have people sign them out, you know, and that's I can't do anything about that if I'm not here every minute. No, but from now on in, if you wanted to do that program, you would just have people automatically, excuse me, I'm choking a little bit, um, tell them, like I, like we do with Patty, if it's if it right. has anything to do with fuel assistance, it's Patty, we take the name and number, we call Patty, and then whenever she can, she gets to them, that's what I mean, only, only you, nobody else takes them in, you have to call you, and then you would be in charge of saying whether we want it or not want it, or I don't even know how they run, so that, you know, you or some person who has computer knowledge that's willing to take that on well I think for if we're asking people to donate used working computers that's true that it should be probably through me at this point yeah but as far as lo <laughs> taking in those computers and loaning them out um, what I can do on that I mean we all are bright enough to know to be able to look into the case or to make sure the, the case matches the um, computer and the, cord. the numbers and then to look for a mouse and look for a cord mm -hmm. inside of those compartments on that case. That's what has to be done before it's loaned out. It doesn't have to be me checking those things, but it needs to be somebody. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so easy. So then you're going to have, you're going to make one person in charge of that because we've got too many people that we don't know. You know what I mean? Like Bev, she wouldn't know what to do. She don't know. I don't think she would know, but I guess if we had a sample computer and it was all together. They are They are all together. Well, when we have everything, they're all together. How many are missing, did you say? One computer's missing? There's no computer missing. Oh, good. 
there's a case missing and there's a there's one case and one cord. I think one cord missing and I think one mouse. Although I think the one that Sue's using, that everyone's using on that desk, that wireless one, I looked at it, it's one of the computer, it's one of the ones I bought for the computers. It's supposed to be one of our computer cases. And, you, and you guys using are using it. it, yeah, all for the other computers. I might have it's, an extra. It's a wireless. Do you know what I mean? That's how I know. Mm -hmm. I bought wireless ones for the laptop. I might have an extra one that I'm not using at home. I'll look. Okay, whatever. And then, yeah. oh, we're missing a toggle. That little thing that... The brain. What I call it the, the little brain. brain of the mouse. Mm -hmm. It has to go into the computer for yep. it to read. It's not the, inside the mouse? Nope. In the storage? No. Nope. Really. The big, huge mouse I bought for pre people with hand problems, that toggles there. Or whatever you call the thing. And the other, the other one's missing from the mouse that's there. So it's not usable. And I will just throw it out because they told me, my son told me you can't just they, Yeah, you got to use the... So, mm -hmm. right, we're missing, set. Yeah. missing two mice. Well, one mouse we're using, the other one. So two computers don't have mice right now. So, you know, I think Lorraine is pretty good with the computer stuff, too. She might be able to be, like, help you out a little bit with that, Nance. Yeah. What do you think, yeah. Lorraine? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah we'll go through it. Because guess... she's, very, she's very good at it, so that would give Well, I can't clean like them. The tool, like the two of you, if you could work together so on So we can say, thing. see, Lorraine or Nancy, I guess we can put that on the top of that sign-out list. And we also can write on it what needs to be in yeah, each computer. Yeah, inventory. Which isn't happening right now. But anyway, so that, that's one of them. And then my other suggestion for, um, so we did have a lady call today during seeing who, who is very nervous about um, technology. She feels it's technology. Her life, her, she's, they're dropping off a um, life, what's it called? Life save or life, life it's called the button. Life, life alert. Life, life alert. Yeah. Life alert. <coughs> they're sending it, so like UPS. They're not coming to her house and putting it in. She she would rather someone come in the house and put it all in. So she said they're sending it to her. It's going to have the, the one to wear around your neck and it's going to have a um, the monitor, I'm going to call it the yeah. base. Yeah. So she asked if we had someone who could come out there and help her. and. I'm like, wow, that's another need, right? And um, so I talked to her, and then um, is that Pat's, something the fire department can help with? Possibly, but you know what? Like she said, she's got to call them as soon as it arrives, and I think they're going to talk her through it when it arrives. So I, I asked Patty if she was going to be around because I'm not going to be, and Patty's going to was willing to give her her cell phone number. It's a woman from town who's been here for years. Um, you probably know her. She started the Girl Scouts in town, and she used to live in a Victorian on Brigham Street. Um, yep, her name is going, phew. Watson is the last name, I think. And, um, now, Nance, yeah. now, Nance, did you ever think on that issue there, you have the fire department? I know, that's what Lorraine just said. I would say. No, we yeah, didn't, I we mean, didn't I think of that. I would call Taylor. At, yeah, that's I mean, what I, I would do. I would check all my bases. I would call Taylor yeah, uh, we're putting at the fire department and ask her if this is something that they know how to do if they could help this lady with them because that would be exactly sharing more communication yeah. and sure. and so that would be I would do that well myself. well at this point Patty has her number I don't I gave it to Patty Patty talked to her and Pat said that um, if when she gets the unit and she calls them and if that if she can't wellness check if it bothers you too much to to do what they're asking her to do I'm thinking it's plugging in the machine and probably hitting a couple buttons but if if she's at all questionable she can just call patty and she'll talk to her but i can call patty tomorrow morning and say you know and suggest the fire department if it gets more involved than that but yeah. pat's going to be right Absolutely. around so yeah. okay that's a good and and then there's all these programs i'm learning about through my um through my sister now because she's moving down here and she's got a safe at home thing that's like a life alert and I had to call someone about that today um, in the in Fitchburg. But you guys had the person in Taylor who's going to try to get the um, program going about the lock boxes, right? Yes. Yes. Yep. So that came up, and we were talking about that and um, all of that. And it brings me to other things that we're finding out. The seniors get discounts on so. I found out that Xfinity, which is Fitchburg, not here, but we have Spectrum, right? I don't know if we have any other choices here, but they have these programs. And my son out in California told me to check into this. Um, and it's through those companies that give us cell phones and give us internet, especially internet. 
and they started during COVID and they started, I heard about them on, on the news and everything for the children because they had to work from home, so they needed internet. And for low-income families who couldn't afford internet, they were given free internet. Guess who they looped in with that? The seniors. The seniors. Nice. I believe you have to have low income. Um, so, but it's a program that we might, I didn't, never, I never thought about it. So, um, it really, and I, someone told me, oh, Patty, she thought it was, was stopping now, but um, my niece just got it from my sister, $10 a month. Hmm. She's also getting a free cell phone. It's not iPhone. From where? From, from Xfinity, but that happens to be the one that, the only one she can use in Fitchburg. But, so, Here it's if, it's, if it's them, why isn't it Spectrum? Why isn't it, if they made this a government program, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And everybody's doing it. She's getting a free cell, cell phone and um, free, well, she, I think she's paying $10 a month for internet. Wow, hmm. that's very good. Right. And so I'm thinking, uh, back to, I don't know, I always, I always picture we talked about having a, a medical day, like with all the things, medical, spa, you know, all the different places. Like devices You know, there things. could be government well, programs people, that we don't even know about that. Oh, I see programs, you know, names of right. services that we don't Things even know Things for about. seniors. So who would that be to contact God, Claudia no that would idea. give us some, um, who would know about that, that internet program? I can't think there's a name to it, and I'll get it from my niece, because she just did it. She's going in there this afternoon on the way home from work. She's going in there to actually sign her up and do this. And would it be somebody Xfinity. in the Massachusetts, would it be a government? In it's, the mass state government, there should be somebody who knows yes, about federal. programs for seniors. There should be. Check who? Yeah. Check with who? We could check with Donna Farmer, but we also couldn't just call Spectrum and find out right from them if they're the people that have the programs. They should have the information on it, right? If they're the ones for Hubbardston, right? If they right. are, they the only ones we can choose. I, I, That's I what do we that. have. Well, you, you can, can I mean, you can get internet through Verizon. You know? We right. had for years. Right, I did for years too. So Verizon or Spectrum. But I got rid of it because it's yeah, awful. Me too. <laughs> well, it's true. But but if it's a government program and they do, then they did. And I know they did it for Quabbin too. The kids had to be able to have internet. You know what we need to do? I mean, we can really think about this for in the spring or early summer or something. Is a health fair. If we yes. could have a health fair at the senior want. center, we could have. This, this phone people who come in and you can get free phones, you know, um, right. with the big numbers, you know that the people are hard of hearing and stuff like that. Yeah, we could have we could have a lot. We could have Spectrum come in. We could have Lifeline come in. If we could put together a health fair, that would be so would be good. good. Do you we remember? Could learn, who, we could learn how to do that. Do you remember who does those free phones for seniors? Those no, but I have. Ones? I should have. Mm -hmm. if you see on my desk. I've been saving it. Is a uh, oh for the free phones? Yeah. That we got when we got them. That was from the sheriff's department, and it was just if you fell or you got hurt or something, you could call for help. Yeah, it was just an emergency. They could find you. Just an emergency phone. Yeah. 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 That okay. was from the sheriff's department. That part. Okay. And the sheriff's department is another department you could call for information. That's true. You know, I mean, I would just reach out to everybody. They can just I'll say, well, maybe they'll give you someone to call. Name. Maybe they'll give you an avenue to work with. Right. You know, yeah. Right. Every once in a while. Don't mind me. I suppose my teeth falling. Um, you fell. Oh. I fell. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's all right. I'm oh, living. Phil. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yep. She broke Wait, her teeth. What? And what else? She said she broke her teeth. Oh, she yeah. fell and broke her teeth. Oh. Bunch of bruises and uh, bruises everything. Too. I had x-rays and didn't touch anything that was important. <laughs> well. Except me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the, the guy that comes Inch. from the Inch. government. Inch. Wait, 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 she's talking with Claudia Wayman. Uh, the guy that comes for, from government, you know, he comes like, um, what's her name used to do? Is he from the Elder Affairs? 
Uh, possibly we could that. would do that. be the, they would, would be, know would the She's talking about what man who, who comes sometimes. What's his name right. from Elder Affairs? From Elder Bob. Affairs. Oh, he's no longer there. Oh, okay. oh that one guy? He's yeah. Um, um, he did, uh, yeah. a, he did a project for us. He did it for a long time, and he's, he's not, he's not, I think he went a little, you know, something. But oh. anyway, <laughs> who's doing it now is Adam Frank. Adam Frank. He, Adam Frank is your Elder Affairs. Guy. Okay. And who's our representative that we could talk to about the programs that are able, you know, the Adam, elderly are able to Adam get a hold of? Frank. That guy. Would Adam it Frank. be him? Yeah. I Adam wonder Frank, if the hospital, Elder Affairs. Henry Haywood Hospital's social service department could help, maybe. I could call, though. I, I wonder if Teresa is Teresa in that? Teresa? No, I don't think she's in social services. No. No. I knew I mean, she just does that unless on they her own. Retired, which they may have. No, she works through. She, she, she works through the hospital. The hospital. Good contacts. Because well, I've talked girl. to her. I can't think of her last name, but I've, I've got her on my cell phone. But huh? I don't know. It's, it's just it's a mind boggling. Well, you know, even if they don't, they might be able to put you. Yeah, with someone who does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Well, of maybe we can invite know. Teresa to a board meeting and just have her tell us. If she's what available. things are available, yeah, <coughs> that we might want to pick a couple and say these, these might fit us. Well, I know the food stuff. Like I was trying to get my sister has vouchers she gets from a she got them at a food pantry up in New Hampshire, and they're not you can't use them in Massachusetts. We have other programs, so I've been looking at SNAP and all these things, and she probably could be knowledgeable all that stuff. I bet she is. There's a lot of food pantries, you know. There's one in Sterling, I bet. I wonder if Fitchburg could go to Sterling. There's a no, food pantry Fitchburg in Sterling, there's one in Rutland, and there's one in Gardner. And that's all free food. I know a lot of people who go to Sterling. Right, no, F Fitchburg doesn't have one. No, what my sister has is vouchers she takes to Hannaford's and then she buys what she uses them for certain things. Yeah, yeah, yeah and she was, she's able to use it. It's very good. It's a very good program. Um, okay. All right, my mind's a little boggled, but I actually can't stay much longer because I have something to go to tonight. The we'll deck report, uh, that's about all we have to Deck update, yeah. I think. I do, wait a minute, before she talks, I do want to talk about next meeting. I'm just, is this, Tuesdays <coughs> are, are <coughs> cram full for me now on, <coughs> on every oh. other Tuesday. Now, if we continue doing it the third week, this is a bad week for me because I have, um, I've started back to my orchestra, which I have to leave at 5.30 to get to. And between singing and this and that, and cleaning up the room and stuff, which isn't even done, um, I just, it's too much for me. If we did it the fourth Tuesday of the month, would be all right? So or I have second? orchestra on the, what is this one, the third? What's this one? This is the third. The third, so um, I could do the, yeah, I could do the fourth. I could do the fourth. Fourth works for me. How about you, Ken? Sure. Yeah, was there a reason newsletter or something? Was there a reason why we didn't do the fourth? No, I don't oh, think. Thank you. I don't think so. I've been speaking you information on low oh. income. Uh, and I'm so excited. Internet, internet stuff. Oh, is that what he's thank doing? Thank you. <laughs> oh, did I just hear we had a volunteer to help people with the internet? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I'd try. Um, we used to meet on Wednesdays. I'm in New Hampshire. Do it, so I can right. I can come. I can make it for what would we meet at? Was it seven or six thirty? Yeah. Whatever. Really it was. I think night. the problem with that, Mel, is that it's too late. Yeah, it's too late in the winter time, especially because it's dark. To do it a little bit yeah. early. The summer I wasn't mean, bad because it stays light. Well, we're coming up to March, mm -hmm. and then April, and you're going to get busier. Yeah. And what's best for you when it comes to well, that? Uh, well, then it's it's probably at least five or six. So she's better later, and it's later at night. Yeah. You've got tax season now. And what are your days free? Are well, you free? Yeah. Wednesday? Well, Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday. You're free. Yeah, those are my free days. I'm usually working Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Doesn't work. I don't know why we don't have a tax person that comes in like um, Gardner and Westminster. I can tell you why, Flo. I can't, I couldn't get into either one this year. No, because they they did not have enough people interested in Hubbiston. So they took it out of Hubbiston. And then they were going to Gardner. 
So now I don't know what happened with Gardner, and then they sent us over to Westminster. Yeah. So the reason why they don't do it in Hubbardston now is because we they we didn't have enough people. They haven't done it in Hubbardston since I've been there. That's a lot of years. Yeah, they get so, I mean, we, we have a lot more people now. We, can't that try to get we have a lot back. of people here that yeah. go to Gardner or go to. Westminster. We have a lot more seniors now we than when you started. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if we had more people signing here. up, or maybe we could get someone to come in and do I it. Think. Hard when you just got a small so who is it through? <coughs> is it AARP? Mm -hmm. But you can't even get into God. If you don't call in December, you can't get right. in. There's no all openings. Yep. Yeah. Well, so you can't get in because it's not because you're from Hubbardston. It's because you, there's right. no appointments there's no available. Appointments. They've got too many people. Okay. We have still haven't settled on a date yet. Yeah. I know, but this is this is something. Um, I don't know how we're still on ARP, programs but, okay. in my book. Here. Okay, we're still on programs, but okay. Do we got no? Yeah, when it goes up both. And I don't know how to contact anyone ARP. Does anybody? Do I have to look it up online and hope? Okay, I'll try. Oh, okay. I, I think is it is it too late now? Oh yeah, it's no? too late now. I'm thinking for the future. Well, maybe call oh, Gardner. Got call Gardner and find out who their contact is. Yeah. 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 Sure. Um. Can you know any retired people who want to give their time to do this kind of thing? I think that I think that is the, the issue is, who, where's the software coming from? Yeah. And are they familiar with the software? Give me an example. I have software. Yeah. But it costs me every time I right. do it. I can't sure. use my software. But something cheap like a TurboTax or whatever, I've never used it. Right. Maybe so that doesn't is do, do me any good. Yeah. To, yeah. To, to to spend three times as much time right. to do somebody's return on software I'm not familiar with. So maybe AARP has got a program that they're, that their people are trained on right. and they're, and they're right. maybe trained they're on that software. giving it to them. Yeah, okay. And there's a million So I'll, I'll try to contact them. Okay, okay, so okay. back well, to time. Back to okay. time. I'm, th I'm thinking, this is my suggestion, but, but I prefer the early times, so this is kind of shooting myself in the foot, but <laughs> I think it seemed like the third well, Wednesday I mean, the used to. The one day that you ask, I yeah. can always leave the greenhouse early. It's not a big deal. Well, I was going to you know. say the third Wednesday yeah. late seemed to work for everyone, <coughs> so maybe we should go back to that now that winter's almost over. What if you did the third Wednesday at five? I know it's dinner time. I can't. I she can't, can't get back. back she can't get back in time. I slide in right before. Mark six. drops me off and. Yeah. So what time we we well, right now we're good at four o'clock, so we can keep it that way until we have to change yeah, it. Yeah, let's keep it. She can't keep it at four. No, we're going to go to four. Not on Tuesday. Wednesday. Can you do the fourth Wednesday? Yeah, sorry, my brain is fried right now. Um, I probably can't even go tonight. Um, I'm thinking four on Wednesday. I could probably do even four thirty. Can't even think what my schedule is. No, four, four, five, four on a Wednesday, or I can do four on that fourth Tuesday. I can't do four on Wednesday. She oh, can't no, do oh four yeah, four. Wednesday. I meant Tuesday. No, Tuesday, fourth yeah, the Tuesday. fourth, a different Tuesday. Yeah, would be the good fourth for Tuesday. The, yeah. So the fourth Tuesday. Sure. Fourth Tuesday. Okay. All right. So, but we didn't talk about the deck while we have Claude. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, she wanted to leave. If oh, she wants to are you leave, leaving, so. or did you just change your mind? Did I hear you just change your mind? No, I need to go so to Tuesday, the fourth Tuesday at four p.m. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put that at the at the end. Yeah. I just I'm writing it down. I just want to make sure I have it right. COA day. meetings. Or I'll just wait for you to call me. <laughs> That's yeah, what I change, call it. change the calendar, Mel. We'll be. I will. We'll be fourth. Wednesday of the month. Tuesday. 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 Fourth Tuesday of the month. We're all fried. Tuesday of the month at four. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could leave early. I think yeah. go on. When you're scheduling, I do. Uh, Tony sent out an email. I respectfully ask that you either email Tony or put it on that calendar over there because there was almost a double booking this afternoon until we moved the emergency committee over to the library. Okay. So just make sure to uh, fill out uh, the paperwork. Uh, oh, calendar. There's a calendar on the desk over there. It, I'll be, just I'll do desk. that. I'll, I volunteer our to calendar or, or Nate's No, calendar. Nate's calendar. It's just, a, it's oh. like our calendar, but it's in the conference room of the town administrative offices. You don't I usually see. let Tony know? You gotta know. put it on two calendars, Mel. Been there yeah, for I five will. years, Claudia. What? 
been there for five years. He said it's when been there. He said the calendar. The, 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 no, the town's calendar's been there for five asked years. Asked us to do that. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> I, I never had anything to do with that calendar, Nick. Nobody ever told me to. Yeah, it's like signing up for the computer. So that's a new thing for us. <laughs> I'll do that. Yeah. Okay, fourth Thursday. So yeah, you gotta yeah. make sure that you look at our calendar so that we don't oh. double book. Yeah. Alrighty then. All right. What's what about your, the deck? Give us five minutes on the deck. You got five. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, last I know, we we got approved. Um, contract was signed, and it's in. I don't know. That's if Nate, true. I haven't talked to Nate lately, if he's talked okay. to the building. Nate, Nate's, Nate's interrupting. Been, <laughs> That's not true what she just said. Nate's interrupting? Yeah. Can, can you tell us what it is, Nate? Nate's been yeah. here for part I've of the meeting. I've got low power on my iPad, so if we lose you, I'll get you on my phone. Uh, that's not true. The contract was not signed. The contract was approved by the select board and sent to the contractor. I have received nothing back yet. There were two gentlemen outside today taking pictures. So I am going to assume that we will hear back from Rob soon, but we do not have a contract. We do not have anything signed. That is it. We are waiting. We are in a holding pattern. Okay. Okay. But that is not true. Just for Did the record, you hear that, Claudia? there is no signed contract. Yeah, because I, I have a. All right, that's fine. Yeah. All righty. So then. we're just waiting for Rob, which I can give him a call if you want to find out where we're at with that. Right? Okay. Um, I mean, the, the attorney's approved sure. it and everything, right, Nate? Nate, what the attorney was. Yes, I was there at the meeting. They approved the. Selectman approved it. Yeah. Yes. They approved the um, person, the, what did you call him? Engineer, I call him, but whatever. The builder, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. select board approved the contract yeah. and the attorney approved the contract to form. It needs to go back to the attorney one more time to ensure that he has submitted it while the company has submitted the appropriate bonds. Mm. All right. All right. <coughs> Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. I second it. Okay. Bye, Claudia. I'm going to lose you anyway. Bye, Claudia. Bye, Claudia. Bye. 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 Bye.